Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel and today I'll be talking about the new uh, update that just uh, came out today and I'm going to be talking about all the new things and what you should be uh, grinding for or what's worth grinding for pretty much. Um, so we got the the banner with Madara and Izuna. So that is a four step banners right here. Longing for peace. Pretty good units. Um, I did make a video on if you should summon on that banner or not, but it is. Uh, I did it when I was out on JP, so I'll probably make an updated version. Um, probably be under five minutes. Uh, you know, I just try doing it pretty quick. But let's look at the emergency missions. I know we got the emergency mission that you can grind the prophesied the prophesied time, master's footprint. So. This one you can uh, you can grind for the points, and then the points you can use in the shop to get um, rewards. So obviously the best one in there is the acquisition stone. So make sure to to grind this uh, emergency mission. You have 20 days, so that's like three weeks pretty much. Um, there are no emergency missions, so just impacts, and then these over here, enhanced and awakening. Uh, the impacts I don't really recommend grinding for the unit. Just grind for the pearls if you don't have them. Or if you haven't um, done the missions like on this account, I haven't done them. So just do it for the pearls. Uh, for sure, make sure to grind the prophesied time though. Alright, so there's no new panel missions. Uh, right now, it's just the rookie, rookie ninja uh, trial panel mission. That's why mine is just still shows the panel mission label. Um... Ninja Road is still the same. They have calm only battles right now, so this is a good way for you to uh, grind Clash Coins. And as you can see right here, 1.5 times Clash Coins earned, so that's 1.5 times more than than before. So if you still don't have um, those Kagedi units from the shop, you can grind the Clash Coins through there. Pretty much just facing computers, and it's really easy to get the wins. Uh, so let me show you what you can get from the that emergency mission. The, the points so you get uh, nine acquisition stones which is amazing that's like one and a half because uh six you need six to make the six star one and then three is a half of one so uh really good i recommend getting that for sure then break crystal jiraiya speed boost pills and then these are here so the jiraiya is really good uh pretty good pretty good unit a uh, skill type unit um I'll say it's worth grinding if you don't have them yet. Pretty good unit, but for sure get the acquisition stones first, first and foremost, and then uh, uh, grind for these three. But get them depending on what you need. So if you need limit break crystals, like right now, then get the limit break crystal. If you need speed boosts for PvP, get the speed boost pills. Or if you just uh, need a you know a pretty decent unit for skill type units, then get the Jiraiya. But make sure to get the, the acquisition stones first because it will be uh, a while to grind since you need 2500 for each one. And I will make a video um, doing the mercy mission or the impact mission, the uh, the one that just came out, the prophesied time, the one with the book. So just to show you how much points you get after completing it and hosting it and all that. So uh, let me look at the banner. So again, I'll make an updated version, pretty much, just because the JP one was in Japanese. I couldn't really uh, fully read it to you, but I'm pretty sure I got it right. Uh, the third step, I believe I said, was a guaranteed step for Izuna. And then the fourth step, I said it was a guaranteed for Madara. So let's see if I got it right. Four steps. 170 pearls, I believe. Alright, so there's the Madara, Izuna... Alright, and here's the steps. So, first step, 30 ninja pearls. Second step, 40 ninja pearls will increase rates for Madara and Izuna. So, this is 2% uh, for both of the featured units. And yeah, I was right. So, the third step, 50 ninja pearls with Izuna guaranteed. And then the last step, Madara is guaranteed for 50 ninja pearls. So, really good. Uh, pretty good deal, I'll say, because these units are good. They go under 28 as well. So,. Uh, but I'll make a video if you should summon on it or up updated version. So that's the only banner out right now. 
JP did get a new unit, so uh, I'm pretty sure that's everything for global. Unless they reset the the shop, Clash Coin shop, and all that. So let me make sure. This is still the same. Trial coins is always the same. Clash coins uh, looks the same as well. So again, if you don't have these Kagali units, I recommend getting them. Uh, first unit you should get though is Killer B, of course. And then uh, I'll say Minato, Gara, uh, Jiraiya is good, Kagi is good, Sakura is good for the buddy skill, Toby is good for the buddy skill as well, and can't really get touched. Hinata is good too, um, but yeah, pretty good uh, Kaga League unit, so. Um, but alright, so let me head over to JP because that looks like everything, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I am now at JP. Uh, we did get a new unit for JP, and it is uh, Sasuke. So, really cool artwork. I really like it. Uh, I haven't seen the banner yet, so hopefully it's good. Let's see, uh, let's see the emergency mission. So, this one's still out. Make sure to grind it. You have two weeks for this one. We got the same impact, I believe, on JP. So, only grind for the pearls if you haven't already. And yeah, everything is pretty much the same for emergency missions. Uh, let me see for panel missions and oh, new phantom uh, castle. Looks like he's gonna be here for two weeks. Yeah, which is uh, which is usually only here for one week. So this is new. It's here for two weeks. So more time to grind those phantom castle tickets and uh, grind the floors, pretty much. So. Um, you get 15 pearls in total, um, usually, so pretty sure it's 15. You get speed pills on here, health, strength pills, or soup, or ramen, limit break crystals, friend points, ryo, scrolls, 5 star, um, or 7 star awakening material, or not, nah, well, just scrolls. <laughs> um, limit break, um, what do you call it? Limit break material. That's the first unit that they're giving out. Yeah, they usually give out three, so one's gonna be 75, uh, which is right here. This uh, this unit is actually really good. Um, so yeah, I definitely s say it's worth grinding, especially up to 75 for this unit. She's a really good unit, so definitely grind for her. And the new one is, um, well, it's not really a new one. It's just uh, Shikaku, so this is an old one. Which is uh, not really that good, so <laughs> not really worth grinding for him. But um, for sure, uh, this one right here worth grinding. So yeah, let me see uh, what rewards you get depending on what rank you uh, what rank you end up on. So I don't think I have this one. Let me see uh, her abilities. I think I have it on my main account. So just a whole bunch of resistance for GTC ceiling. Nothing too special. <clears throat> Alright. So let me look at the rewards. Depending on what rank you get. Alright. So. Okay. So rewards. Instead of units. You get tickets. Which is actually pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Definitely worth grinding. The Phantom Castle. Um, you know. You get the tickets. You get gold. You get a whole bunch of material, so make sure to do that. Gonna be here for two weeks this time, which is really good. Uh, let me look at the if there's any new panel missions. I don't think so, but nope, just this one, which everyone should have unless you completed it. Uh, let me look at limited ninja trials. All right, so they got the uh, seven star awakening material for like three more weeks. Alright, so it's time to look at the new banner. Uh, that, that artwork is amazing. I really like it. So, nine steps. Here's the Phantom Castle um, uh, banner. So, silver tickets, gold tickets, single summons. Alright, so let me look at the base rate first. I have not looked at this banner, so nine steps. He's at a base rate 1%, so pretty good. Let's look at the banner. 
Oh, okay, I think I just saw Gara. So, alright, first step is third Ninja Pearl's not in special. Yep. Alright, so Gara, Ashura, and Minato. So, Ashura and Gara are really good. So, those are uh, the best units to get from that step. The Minato is also good, but um, just not as good as those two. So, they are they are at a rate sub, and that's a 40 Pearl step. Uh, the third step is a rates up 1.5 times for the new Sasuke, and that's 50 pearls. Fourth step is a guarantee step, so uh, yeah, five units right here, and it's 50 pearls. Um, the best two I'd say is Ashura and Gara. Uh, these three are good too, but they're not like um, you know like the best. They're probably like A tier, S tier, while these are like SS or God tier. So. Um, pretty even though it's still a pretty good step. So I say the worst one out of these right here is probably the Itachi. So fifth step, thirty ninja pearls, nothing special. Sixth step is a rate step, two times. Seventh step is fifty ninja pearls with one of these gar characters guaranteed. So that's a really, that's a pretty good step. I would have it would have been better if the the new Sasuke was right here, and that would have been an amazing step because you're guaranteed. A really good unit but even still uh, these are still good units eighth step three times rate up 50% and then last step you're guaranteed the Sasuke so pretty good um, so the on the second step I believe they go to 1% the Gara Ashura and S yeah 1% Third step is 1.5 uh, times, so he is at a 1.50. Pretty good. Um, fourth step is just guaranteed. Fifth step, I believe, is a normal step. No, not special. Six, sixth step is uh, two times rate up, so 2%. Seventh step is a guaranteed step, and then this one's 3%, and then you guarantee the last step. So pretty good. Pretty decent banner. Um, I will make a video if you should summon on it or not. I'm just showing you what the banner looks like as of now. I'll talk about more about it um, on the video if you should summon on it or not. So, uh, yeah. And it looks like it's an extra effect for Phantom Castle. Because that's what it looks like. Let me make sure on that. Alright, so extra effect. Yep, so the Sasuke, so the Sasuke is the only extra effect, unfortunately, usually they bring out a free to play uh, option, like an emergency mission, but this time they didn't, so that's unfortunate, uh, but yeah, he's the extra effect for Phantom Castle. And I believe uh, that is it for extra effects, I don't think he's extra effect for Ninja Road or nothing, let me make sure. Alright, so this Kakashi is extra effect for uh, Ninja Road until, um, st still until the 12th. I believe he was al already there. I, I think he was extra effect for like two months, so it's almost gone. And this one is gone on the same day, so in two weeks, pretty much so. Just for Phantom Castle. Alright, but I believe that is everything on JP. Let me make sure, let me look at the... Um, clash coins and all that, see if anything resetted. That's the same. And, uh, that's the same, so. Everything is pretty much the same, except the new banner, Phantom Castle, so. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, again, if you guys wanna, wanna hear my opinion, if you should summon on the new banner or not, uh, stay tuned for that. And... Yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.